Hey folks, welcome to a special edition of Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin, and we are heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Just wanted to jump on real quick because as you may know or may not know, The Revival, Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson have been released from the WWE. Uh, it's been it's been rumored for a while that they that they wanted out and uh, they were granted their release on on Good Friday of all days. Uh, so um, the revival no longer with the WWE. Now everyone is saying, oh, they're going to AEW. It, it's it's a given that they're going to AEW. But something interesting happened. Something interesting happened on Twitter. There were two tweets. Uh, yes, yeah, one from Ethan Page, one from Josh Alexander, and I'm going to read Ethan Page tweets. So Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson, are we doing this when the quarantine is over? Hashtag the revival versus hashtag the North. Josh Alexander tweets, uh, responding to the WWE tweet uh, that they've been released. Guess we could find out. Guess we could find out who the better team is now. So that's very interesting. So Impact Wrestling's push to get the revival signed into Impact Wrestling has already begun. Josh Alexander, Ethan Page, calling them out. Uh, they got a lot of uh, positive responses to those tweets. People wanting to see the revival versus the North. Uh, well, I don't. Th- they, they're not going to be called the revival anymore. They're actually actually Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson have changed their names on Twitter, and. Um, they each have a hashtag ATR, FTR, which is a uh, fuck the revival. Uh, so they're they're I guess <laughs> Scott Dawson and uh, Dash Wilder are no longer fans of <clears throat> of the revival. So there definitely be a, be a name change there. But uh, I want to go back to the the North versus the revival scenario. That is very very interesting. I personally would absolutely love to see the North go up against the revival or whatever their new, their new name's going to be. That would be an absolute classic match. It would be an outstanding tag team match. And I really hope that this is just the beginning of Impact Wrestling. Scott Demore, Don Callis trying to get the revival into Impact Wrestling. I got my fingers crossed. I mean, they, there's so much they could do there. I mean, they, they don't have to start off with the North. They could, you know, maybe uh, have a win over the Deaners. Uh, they could um, maybe uh, defeat the, the Desi Hit Squad, uh, beat a few tag teams, and then, then um, you know, then have that collision with the North. Now, a lot of people are saying um, it's a foregone conclusion that they're going to AEW. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's a, it's a foregone conclusion. I mean, look at Cody Rhodes. When Cody Rhodes left... The WWE. He didn't. He didn't uh, immediately sign with uh, with any promotion. He went. He went on. Basically, he went on tour. He went to wrestle whoever he wanted to wrestle, to whichever promotion he wanted to wrestle. And he was in Impact. He was in Ring of Honor. He was at New Japan. He did many, many independent shows. Wrestling guys that were on his quote unquote list. Who's saying the revival doesn't do that? Who's saying the revival doesn't do that? Uh, who's you know, I'm sure they, maybe they have a list of tag teams uh, all over the world that they would like to face before they settle down. And I'm sure the North would be on that list. Now, I'm not saying that that the Revival would sign like a mega long-term deal with Impact Wrestling. It, it would be nice. It would be fantastic. But I'm saying, what if they sign, what if they sign a, a six-month deal? They sign the six month deal, and they they we get the we get the dream match, the revival versus the North, and they could build that up. It doesn't have to happen right away, uh, but they they could build it up uh, to one of their pay per views, and of of course when this whole quarantine thing is over, that's when it's gonna that's when it would happen. I I, w- I would I wouldn't want this to be in an empty arena match. Uh, I would want this to be in front of a crowd because I, I, I think the crowd would go absolutely nuts for this match. Uh, so th- that's why Ethan Page said, "When this quarantine is over, let let's do it." Now, some people might, uh, a couple of trolls might jump on and say, "Oh, Impact Wrestling doesn't have the money. They don't, they don't, they don't pay their uh, wrestlers." You know, I know trolls are still saying that. Uh, yeah, they do. They have plenty of money. They have the money. If if the opportunity arises and the revival is interested in coming to Impact Wrestling, they have the money to sign the revival. They have plenty of money to sign the revival. So that, that that's a non-issue. Um, like I said, I don't think it's gonna. I, if they do come in, I don't think it's gonna be a long-term deal. I think ultimately. Ultimately, they will eventually sign with with All Elite Wrestling. I mean, I know the feud is there with the Young Bucks and the whole FTR thing, and um, they could, the AEW. I'm sure will would want to capitalize on that. But 
I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I, I'm thinking they're gonna, they might, they, I'm, I'm thinking they're gonna do a Cody Rhodes thing here. I think they're gonna be touring around, and um, we could see them in Impact Wrestling. Um, even if it's like I said, short term, I'll, I'll definitely take it. I'll definitely take it. And who do I think the better tag team is? It will be a phenomenal match. But uh, my heart goes with uh, Josh Alexander, Ethan Page. Uh, so my fingers are crossed. My fingers are crossed that I hope um, hope this happens. Hope we get the North versus the Revival in Impact Wrestling. And just a quick note. Coming up uh, next week will be my interview with Cody Diener. Yep, I sat down earlier in this week with one half of the Deaners, Cody Diener, and we had a great conversation. And that interview will be out next week uh, on Shooting Up North. And also out now is my interview with Alexia Nicole. It was a fantastic interview. I had a fun time talking with Alexia Nicole. If you haven't heard it yet, go to the Impact Lounge. Check it out. My interview with Alexia Nicole. So remember, Alexia Nicole out now. My interview with Cody Diener will be out next week. And until then, thank you very much for listening to this very short yet special edition of Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We are heard on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.